What is going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know it, I'm Nathan and this is Daisy Dukes Landscaping and today I'm in the shop. We're about a week or so from kicking off the season so I've got a few modifications that I've made to some of my older mowers and then I've also got a brand new mower that I'm going to put some modifications on. If you haven't already seen the video on it, boom, it's right there popping up. This is the right ZXT guys and that stands for the Extreme Zero Turn Mower. This thing is a bad, bad machine. I call it the baddest mower on the planet. That's it right there. I've got some pretty awesome modifications that I'm going to do to it. Things that I think they're going to help me and my business stay productive, uh, make the most out of my time that I can. So I'm going to walk through some of the things that I'm going to do to it right now. Let me get started. The first thing I'm going to do is Wright has incorporated this two inch receiver hitch into their frame, which I absolutely love. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount a portable 2,000 pound worn winch on there. I'm gonna have a mounting plate so I can keep it on there all the time or take it off if I want to. Uh, but guys, I mow a lot of big properties. Some of them are miles long. Um, so it's always good to have something with me or if one of my guys gets stuck or if I get stuck, we can, we can pull each other out pretty quick without having to go back to the truck and grab straps, something like that. So I think that's gonna be super helpful. Uh, on top of that, you also see I bought this blue Kevlar rope. Anybody that's ever used a winch for any amount of time knows that uh, as the steel cable starts to splinter, there's nothing worse than stabbing yourself in the hand with it. So I went ahead and added 50 feet of Kevlar rope to it. Uh, on the front of this machine, I am going to mount these fog lights. They work remarkably well. I've got them on my Ferris Z3X back here. And then last but not least right now, I'm gonna add a quick shoot shoot blocker guys and in my opinion they are the best on the market i've got one on my mid mount z i've had this on here this is going on the fourth season and guys this is my employee training machine and for those of you guys that have employees you know that if it can break they're going to find a way to break it and this thing has held up remarkably well i've never had any issues never had to make any adjustments in fact i just added a brand new one on this z3x and as you can see, there's the old one in the trash. It has given me nothing but problems. Not gonna talk bad about the brand, but it's just nothing but problems, so I went with a quick shoe. Now then, you see the headlights mounted here on the Z3X. I've just got a simple toggle switch up here, and it's illuminated, so I like that. That's pretty neat. But man, these lights are super, super bright. I'll post a photo right here, bam. This is what it looks like at night. These things work remarkably well. I can see very, very good field of vision. And as I transition back here now, <clears throat> guys, these are super bright and uh, definitely, definitely, definitely have not let me down either. No problems out of it. And guys, let me just say this real quick. Nobody sponsors me to make these videos. All these products that you see me using are things that I've bought with my hard-earned money, things that I think are going to make us as a small business more productive and therefore more profitable. So if you guys want more information on what I'm using, what I'm putting on my machines, I'll always put a link in the description below. But guys, I encourage you, do your own due diligence, do your own homework, see if it's a good fit for your business, and then pull the trigger on it. Now then, if you've got something else that you use, something else that you recommend, guys, drop me a comment in the section below and let me know. Maybe it's something that I need to add to my fleet or need to add to my business to help make us more efficient and thus more profitable. All right, guys, so let me start putting these things on the machine and I will get done and show you a final walkthrough of how everything looks. All right, y'all, so here she is, the final product. Everything turned out really, really well. I think it looks really, really clean and I'm just super stoked about how everything turned out and about really putting this thing to use and maximizing the efficiency of it. So I've got the lights mounted on there. Um, I've got the quick shoot mounted on here. And for those of you that don't know, or for those of you that don't remember, this quick shoot is a phenomenal, phenomenal tool. You can go all the way open, you can go all the way closed, and you can actually do what we call a half hang. And uh, that's where you're discharging just a little bit, but you're still protecting uh, anything that might be around a car or something like that. So really excited how that turned out. Coming around here to the back, this is what I was waiting on. I was waiting for my mounting bracket to come in. There was a big storm and it got lost in the mail, so it was a couple days late. 
but this turned out really really well uh, the only thing i might would have done different is i wish i had a little bit more protection around the winch itself just in case i were to back into something so for now i'm just gonna have to be mindful that it's back there and be careful and you'll see i've still got the steel cable on it i had mentioned earlier that i was going to put the synthetic uh, cable on there and i tried to but because it was about 15 feet longer there just wasn't enough room uh, to get it in here and so i decided let me put the factory cable back on there and uh, i've got a little treat for you guys here in just a second so now as far as operating the winch here's a little dust cover a little weather cover it's got a removable remote control that plugs in there and what i did to wire this thing up is i want it to be removable so i ran some leads from the battery back here to a quick disconnect i can pop that out I can cover it up and keep this out of the weather, keep it safe, keep it dry when I'm not using it. And when I am using it, just plug this thing in and I'll keep it like that all the time unless I take the winch off. So super clean, uh, very easy to access. No wires are in the way of anything hot, no moving parts. And uh, all right, now you in for the special treat, okay? Here's what I did, here's how I wired it. I tried to make it look as factory as possible. So anything that you see in here that's got white zip ties is my work, okay? Um, I've got a more in-depth video, instructional video on how I actually installed the lights. You can check that out. It should be popping up on the screen. That'll give you a more detailed look. Right here's how it looks. You can't really tell in the sunlight, but that's an illuminated switch. You can tell a little bit, but that's an illuminated switch. And then I ran my wires right around here. And this is the only thing that kind of doesn't look factory is I just zip tied them up here. I wasn't ready to tap into the frame, but I did, um, I did tap into the frame here and right here. But I wanted to make sure that these bolts were out of the way so that uh, I could get these, get these loose if I ever needed to take it off. All right, now you ready for the special treat? I got to have some place to put the rope that I already bought, and I had to have some place to put the controller to operate the winch. And the ZXT has these nice pockets, which I could put it in there, and it fits in there perfect. I'm not worried about it being secure, but I was afraid that with all the trash and debris that would get in there, and I'd go to blow it out, that I would lose it. So, right here is my hidey hole. Right, I've got my extra winch cable, just 50 foot of uh, synthetic rope. It's got a clasp on it as well. And then here is my remote for my winch. I can just plug it in. Let's see, where's it at? I can just plug it in, use it, and I put it back, but I always have it with me. I don't have to worry about it, uh, forgetting it or doing anything like that. So guys, that's it. I will add a quick shot right now of how this thing looks at night, mowing at night, the field of view that it has. And then I'll also add another video, bam, it should be popping up now, on how to install the quick shoot blocker. And that will be a step-by-step -step video tutorial on specifically for this mower. But guys, it's gonna be the same for just about any, any mower out there. So that just looks really, really clean. No problems whatsoever with it. And I'm just really excited about how all this turned out. It just looks great. So y'all, there it is. There you have it. Those are the modifications that I did on this mower right out of the gate. Now I'm ready to go cut some grass with it. I'm ready to put this thing to work and start putting some money back into my pocket, right? Uh, I appreciate you guys staying tuned into this video. Check out the installs on both the lights and the quick shoot blocker. Um, if you guys have anything else, you got any questions about the mower, you got any questions about the install that I didn't cover, guys, drop me a comment in the section below and let me know what you think. What are some other add-ons that you think I need to do this mower or what are some things that you do that would make your business more profitable? Guys, that's it for now. I'm out of here. I love you. 
I appreciate you, and above all else, God bless you guys. Thank you.